of greeting people. But again, I would say that every language has its own unique characteristic or idiosyncrasy. As for the Thai language, I'm sure we Malaysians are familiar with the word Sawatli. Sawatli, can you please say that? Sawatli, Sawatli. But for female speakers, you have to add the ending particle. Sawatli ka. Can you please say that? Sawatli ka. And for male, male speaker, you can never say ka because that is not your trademark. It's only for female speaker. For male, you have your own trademark, which is krab. So when you want to say hello in Thai, for male speaker, you have to say sawat di krab. Can you please try that, please? Sawat di krab, male. Male speaker and female, sawat di krab. And there you are. You are already learning to speak Thai. And this is it. The course on the, that offered by the Center for Extension Education, for the first course on the Thai language will be only on spoken Thai. So you are not going to learn to write something funny like this. These are the Thai alphabets which are very difficult to master. And with in a limited allotted time allowance of 30 hours, we are getting nowhere. You can't even reach the border from Pinang across to Hadiai if you want to learn this uh, writing system. Because the, unlike French, English, or even BN, they use romanized version, but to learn to read and write Thai, you need to master the Thai alphabet, which is a daunting task and time consuming. So it will be only spoken Thai that we will learn. And what kind of spoken Thai? It will be everyday spoken Thai. The language when we use in our everyday life activities. But before I go on into, I mean, the, 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 the focus and the content of the course, which would, uh, you would like to enroll in, I would like to just spend a few minutes telling you why learning a foreign language and in our case, learning Thai is uh, more or less like very beneficial to yourself. There are some of the, there are so many reasons that you would like to learn a foreign language or Thai for this matter. But I would like to mention a few of the major reasons that learning Thai is not useless at all or it's not a, a waste of your time at all on this score. First, it is related to your work or your career. Okay, your work or your career. Because uh, like Dr. Chia mentioned, we live in a globalized world. So there, uh, there are a number of business corporations, both local and international corporations, that operate across the border, including Thailand. In our case, in Malaysia, in Malaysian context, big companies like Petronas has been working hand in hand with Thailand oil company in the exploration of the natural gas in the Gulf of Thailand and other uh, business. Other companies like Colgate Palmolive, FNN, what else? The paint, Nippon Paints, all the big names, even uh, in terms of banking sectors, like uh, CI, uh, CIMP Bank has been operated in Thailand. 
So all the even the even the small SME business also has been running a business across the border. Okay, so and so if you work or intend to work in the companies and your work involve regular contact with speakers of Thai. Learning to speak Thai will help you to communicate with them. Why? Because most of the Thai people, unlike uh, Malaysian people who are at the very least bilingual, a lot of uh, Malaysian people are multilingual. But the Thai people, most of them can speak only their own language. So they are handicapped when it comes to communicating with foreigners. So if we can speak Thai to them, they will be very happy. Because by nature, the Thai people are friendly and also Sanuk. I don't know whether you have heard of this word, Sanuk. Sanuk. Does it sound familiar to you? In BM is what? Serono. Yeah. When you learn Thai, you will, the other thing that you can uh, be aware of is there are lots of similarities between the Asian languages, even some Chinese words. Even when you, I drive around, there's a word Lelong, Lelong. Lelong, right? That is Chinese word. In Thai, we call it Lela. And uh, when I teach the students Thai, when they talk about uh, share, what is the word in Chinese? In Thai, it's gao yi, and they all laugh. Gao yi, it means chair. Yeah, gao yi. So there are lots of things that you can learn by learning Thai that you can associate yourself with even your own language. And at the same time, you are beginning to be aware of the, the the disparity between the Thai and your own language, or whatever, or whatever language you know, and you will become yourself less, what do you call it, uh, less judgmental. The notion that mine is better than yours will be less and less. You become more or less open-minded to a new language, because language incorporates culture. When you learn a language, you are learning culture. When you learn Thai, you are exposed to Thai cultures and ways of life of the Thai people. Like you see, I could tell you my own experience. When uh, before I got married to my Malaysian husband, uh, his folks, his parents went to Bangkok. And of course, the Thai people would greet them by doing the Thai way, which is, you know, like this Kavadika. But we put the palm up like this Kavadika, right? Would you like to try that? Try this? Uh, and this is this, uh, you know, uh, She could she, she wasn't happy when she saw my that time uh, my my potential husband, okay? Did the way greet the way of greeting. Because to her she associated that with here, you only do that to the Agong. And she could not take it. See? So some misunderstanding can happen when you actually uh, use your own uh, ways of life and your own ways of practice to judge people from elsewhere. So by learning a foreign language or learning Thai, 
you will be more open-minded. Okay? And you can even develop positive thinking. So actually, to me, learning Thai or any foreign languages is an ideal way of self-improvement. You can improve yourself yeah, by learning a language. The other point that I would like to raise is, why learn Thai? This is for your travel pleasure. Yeah? By, because of the proximity between our two countries, as neighboring countries, Malaysian people enjoy going to Thailand. And uh, there's a saying that Hat Yai is the town where Malaysian people built because Hat Yai has grown leap and bound from a small, tiny village. Now it has become more or less internationally known. Everybody flocks to Hat Yai, especially the Malaysian people. And of course, as tourists, you can go there and if you stick to the, say, uh, big hotels, of course, you can get by by using English. But again, in order to explore yourself outside the domain of the big hotels, you want to keep in touch, to get in touch with the locals, to see how they live, to see what they eat. If you learn Thai, it is plain sailing. So with all this, you may have other reasons why you want to learn Thai. Alright? So this is, uh, I would like to just say that learning Thai is not a waste of time, especially for Malaysian people, because somehow it comes in handy. And of course, uh, researcher, we are not going to learn written Thai, which is very difficult. We are learning to speak the language. Now, how to... The, the course offered by Utah is purely spoken Thai. And you may ask, then how can I gain access to the Thai words? I would say that what we use is the symbols. Symbols that represent the sound of the Thai language. Take my name. This is, uh, can you pronounce my name? Some soap. Some soap. Some soap. Serum soap. Yeah, some soap. Some soap. Pronouncing my name. Now, please listen. Swadika. My name is Sam Su. Sam Su. You can see that Sam. There's no R sound, but in here I put R, right? Sam Su. Can you try, please? Sam Su. And Sam Su. And you are interested in learning pa sa thai pa sa thai pa sa thai like it please pa sa thai okay 
to, to, to learn to speak Thai, you have to train from the very beginning. Make it a good habit to listen to yourself. Pa, sa, Thai, and go as slowly as you can. Okay? It's like learning, it's a uh, learning language, it's a skilled course. So you got to start slowly, and once you can master the thing, then you can go as fast as you can. Pa, sa, Thai. Yeah? Pa, sa, Thai. Does it sound familiar to you? Pa, sa, pa, sa, pa, sa means language. Sa. Yeah, in Bahasa, Bahasa. The other thing is, when you learn Thai, you are beginning to ah, enjoy yourself. Ah, I know that word. In BM, this is it. Because Thai language and BM more or less come from the take words from a, a, the same source, which is Sanskrit. Okay? And you are beginning to, because uh, uh, you are scientific, uh, scientifically trained mind. So you said, ah, Bahasa become Pasa to work. Yeah? This is a trend, in, uh, a tendency in the Thai language. Even though we take the words from the same source, the Thai language tends to shorten the syllables. So Bahasa becomes Pasa by adding tones and all this. Okay? Try the other word. Sawan. Sawan. Can you guess it? Sawan. Sawan. What is the word in Bahasa? Okay. Sawan narok. Sawan narok. No. No. Sawan heaven. Narok hell. Sorry to say that. Because in Bahasa it's what? Neraka. Right? And uh, sawan is what? Churuka, churuka. Sawan, no, no. Try about sad, sad. Yeah? In Bahasa, it's sastra. Any, all the study of anything. So, pa, sa, sa, study of language. It's something like this, sastra. Yeah? So, uh, you, somehow, I would say that you can turn it into some sort of fun game. When you say, ah, this is it. Ah, this is it. And by linking what you know and the new words in Thai you know, it's a, the faster way to master the Thai language. What about the word sabu? Uh, sabu. It's sabun. Yes, yeah, sabun, which is what? The Portuguese word. So the other thing is, you can see that Thai has a lot of words or loan words from foreign languages, especially English. But of course, they, they, when the Thai people took those words in, they of course, they like to make up. So they dress up those words, those loan words from foreign languages by adding the Thai outfit, let's put it that way. Okay? So words like computer, what is it? Computer. The Thai people will say computer. Technology. Yeah? What else? Shampoo. Ah, shampoo. Lotion. 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 Tissue. 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 Right? All the tissue. Okay? There are lots and lots of words in the Thai language that are more or less you know, are familiar to you. Because there are lots of old words. Let's try the food, food type. Pizza. Uh, hamburger. Right? Or even what the brand of all the uh, familiar brand like what? Toyota. Okay? All this, you know, the Thai language will just simply add the tones, and try to more or less uh, convert it into Thai tongue. Easier for them to pronounce. Don't you think you are having fun learning the Thai language?
Because to me, learning is fun. And let me tell you a bit about myself. Uh, I'm not a spring chicken to begin with. Okay? Uh, I have been here for 40 years. Yeah? And uh, I, I serve UKM, University of Bangsa, Malaysia, as a Thai language lecturer there until I retire. But like Dr. Chi, I mentioned that, okay? One never stops learning. Even after my retirement, I still, I'm still trying to be as active and busy and occupy myself as I am. So I, I enjoy very much to just come out and interact with you people. Because to me, this is a form of learning. Learning to be young, in my case. Right? Because to me, learning it doesn't mean one-sided. We can learn from each other. Even when uh, in my Thai class, we also, I also learn from you. And you also can learn from me. It doesn't mean that I'm out here and you are sitting there. I mean, I'm superior to you. No, not at all. Yeah? We are more or less the same. Yeah? You know more than I do, especially in the in uh, the computer technology thing, um, I belong to the old age, okay? But I'm willing to learn, that kind of thing. So I would say that to learn Thai, we only uh, learn to speak the language, okay? For one thing. And uh, if you have this brochure, you can see that the course outline, because with all this, uh, Objective that we don't learn written Thai, we only learn to speak. And we speak what? Every day spoken Thai. So it's a common sense that what do we do when you learn every day spoken Thai? Can you tell me a bit? You learn to say hello, you learn to say thank you, you learn to say goodbye, you learn to what else? To order Tom Yam. Right? You learn to ask for prices. Why? And you learn to bargain. Why? You don't want to get cheated. Right? You learn how to go shopping. And if you want to buy things, asking for the right size of shoes and whatnot, you should be able to do that when you sign up for the basic uh, course or level one at Utah. This is all the the topic to more or less sort of uh, be aware of certain do's and don'ts in Thailand as well. Okay, like just now we said that to be uh, politely spoken, male will have one ending particle which is crap. Okay, you can say whatever da, 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 crap. Okay, you want to say I have no money. Crap. I'm hungry, crap. Whereas female speaker would say, I'm hungry, car. Where can I find the hamburger stall or whatever car? Like that. Okay? So, this is a unique characteristic of the Thai language. One thing. And secondly, you know, uh, it's very simple. Within one, uh, one session of two hours, you can learn a a small dose, but with a lot of practice. So it will be more listed, it will be imprinted in your mind. To me, I, I, I uh, more or less compare notes of the way I handle the teaching is something like, you know, uh, you are going to program whatever you, the, 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 the I'm, I'm the one who give you the output, and one, your input, you're going to put in your, PC, your own PC, okay? There is no writing. So it's sort of a small dose with the situation, okay? Learn to say hello and you start practicing saying hello to each other. And the other, the, so the first part will be on the something that you must understand and be aware of. Say like in uh, English you say, Mr, Mrs and Miss, right? to address a person. In Bahasa, you have what? Inche. 
for one check, right? In Thai, there's only one word. There you are, okay? What word fix all? So you just put the word kun, 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 say please, kun before the name. So if you want to say hello to me, you can say what? Mail? So what do you crap? Kun firm soup. That's it. Try please. So what do you crap? So what do you crap? Kun firm soup. And for female speakers, try please. You have to say ka. You don't say crap. Ka. So what? Sawadika. Kun sum so just like that, okay? Sawadika kun sum so. Sawadika, okay? Sawadika kun sum so. Sawadika, good, good, excellent. Sawadika kun sum so. Sawadika kun sum so. Yes. Sawadika kun sum so. Ka. Sawadika. Yeah. สวัสดีครับคุณสมสุขสมสุขสมสุข very good great 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 try this สวัสดีครับคุณสมสุข and you in the class you are beginning to listen to your friends and you can say aha my Thai is better the tone is still wrong ding dong ding dong and all that okay so you learn to listen to each other and sort of okay สวัสดีค่ะท่านนิส just now you say สวัสดีค่ะ a bit tone is a bit off so สวัสดีค่ะท่านนิสสวัสดีค่ะคุณเสริมสุข very good ah excellent right so สวัสดีค่ะ how so this is a in class a small dose of the situation and yet we will practice. Everybody will have a chance. You are in class not just to listen to me. I'm the one who will just listen to you and try to help you speak Thai. The way the Thai people understand. Because sometimes you can say that, yes, I can speak Thai. I used to teach uh, students and they said that they learn Thai through uh, internet. Right? But to me, Technology cannot substitute, you know, the learning of the language completely, especially when it comes to learning spoken language. Because you have to hear, listen and hear the right sound, right tone, and also uh, you cannot learn by reading. Reading is totally a different skill from speaking. So you have to practice speaking in class. So this is uh, the way that we, we will handle the course. So when it comes to methodology, if I should use that big word, methodology is actually, I would say that it's uh, task-based. That means what? In class, we have a situation when you say, OK, you want to go shopping? So at the market, suppose you go to the market, you learn to ask how much is a, uh, what, a price of what? How much is a kg of prawn or something? So after that, once you get the basic structure, then you can branch out into, instead of buying prawns, vegetable, and after that, you know, change the kg, the unit of measurement, to say you want to buy shoes, how much is a pair of shoes, that kind of thing. So on and on, but you need to initially get the basic, more or less, model structure. After that, the situation will help you branch out into things of your interest. Okay? That is under a page, going shopping. Or when it comes to learning numbers, this is also fun because uh, you are familiar with uh, the Thai numbers somehow, okay? Especially Chinese speaking people, okay? Nung, song, sam, si, ha, ho, jet, bad, gao, sip. How does it sound to you? Yeah? Try again, please. Nung, song, sam, 
สี่ห้าหกเจ็ดแปดเก้าสิบโอเค sound like a Chinese language right okay right and then how do you make use of the knowledge of Thai numbers then we branch out into the situation like what numbers like we ask okay yeah in terms of price right numbers in terms of uh, distance you want to ask how far is Penang from KL okay and you start telling how far is your workplace from your house that kind of thing so all this so the the situation will direct you to more or less uh, master the number of the Thai uh, the Thai numbers that way okay situation by situation or you can just sort of okay uh, tell people about your family how many people you have how many brothers and sisters you have or even your workplace how big is the staff and then because still you learn to ask that like, uh, what is the population of KL what is the population of Bangkok that kind of thing so it's the same basic is what you know the number you know the basic structures okay so try not to like I used to tell the students that when you learn Thai, don't invite, uh, don't invite what, don't invite uh, problems unnecessarily to yourself. You think BM, you don't think English because uh, grammar-wise, Thai grammar is quite similar to BM grammar. It's just a string of words. So in English, you say what? My house, my university. In Bahasa, you say what? University, saya. In Thai, it's also university, saya. A rumah, saya. That kind of thing. It's the same structure. That's why when uh, in our course, you are not going to learn that heavy word like grammar per se. You don't say this and that. And the other thing which is easy, uh, easier is in Thai there is no such thing as tense. Tenses. You don't have present perfect, you don't have all present uh, simple future and all that. Words remain the same. So it's a matter of you coming to class regularly and try to, you know, uh, more or less uh, download yeah? download what you learn into your own PC and after that it will be your brand of Thai you are not going to learn to be a parrot or speak, think, uh, speaking like uh, myself or something and you have to to me I don't encourage you all to memorize the structures while speaking you must think because when, it, when you express yourself, nobody knows. I myself also don't know. So think, you think whenever you open your mouth. Think about that again. Think what you want to say. Yeah? Once you say, then we say, ah, excellent. Ah, a little bit off or something. So this is the way that I handle the class. And the textbook that we will use, up to this point, let me ask you whether I am halfway in terms of being successful in convincing you to sign up for the Thai language course. Yes or no? Not yet? Not convincing yet? Who say yes? Still need another half an hour, right? Anyway, so the so Utah will have this once you sign up for the the class, you will have the textbook. This is a textbook that each of you will have. But in class, textbook is textbook.
But in class, of course, we are going to do a lot of uh, exercise, speaking exercise, listening exercise. So we will come up with a lot of handouts. Every session, I will give you all the handouts. These are all the handouts that I passed to the previous uh, uh, learners group. That means what? You learn in class through the handouts. And then, after that, you go back and refer to the textbook. And in class, we will do both speaking practice as well as listening exercise. Like the first, I can tell you this. The first one that I would like to try is, I could give you this. Okay, I call it prelude. It's not the name of the card, yeah, not the model. Prelude. Yeah, this is how. It's just to prepare you to test yourself whether you are tone deaf or not, because the Thai language, the three components of the language are consonant, vowels, and tones. So to test you whether you are tone deaf or not. So we go through all this. I put all the words in bold, are uh, words that are familiar to us. Like number one, a famous Thai soup is called what? Then you listen to me and you check whether it's A, B, or C. The A, B, or C are the, what you call it, the symbols that represent the Thai sound. It's not the language. It's just, uh, the, the symbols that we will use in class. Why? Because you don't know how to read Thai. And the word uh, in bold is the same as my name. It's as close as we can get. But to be able to articulate or to pronounce it properly, you choose A, B, or C. So let's do a little quiz. You are listening to me, please. Number one, and check whether the words that are familiar, very famous in Malaysia, exactly how the Thai people pronounce it. Okay? Number one, and can you please cho uh, choose Tom Yam? A, B, or C? C. What about you? You know, when uh, you see the, the T represent the consonant sounds. The O and A represent the vowel sounds. But you have that after the vowel sound you have the two dots. Two dots represent the long vowel sound. In Thai the you know, Thai people are romantic by nature. Everything's got pairs. Yeah. Girls and boys, women and men, vowel, short vowel sounds and long vowel sounds. And if you can't hear the length of the vowel, you can be misunderstood. Or if you mispronounce it. Okay? So like you have a ah, short one and a ah, long one. O, O, E, E, that kind of thing. So with the long vowel sound, you put two dots. So number one, how would you pronounce this soap? A, B, or C? I come down, a bit a good exercise. A, B, or C? Uh, C. 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 B, B, C, A, A, C, C, C. Yes, the 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 correct one is C. Tom, yam, Tom, yam. If you say uh, A is B, Tom, yam. Yeah. 
She's not, no, 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 the soup, yeah? If you say B, it will be what? Tom yam. Yeah? Okay? No. So the correct one is C. Tom yam. Say please. Tom yam. Tom yam. Tom yam. Very good. Tom yam. Tom. Tom yam. Tom yam. Okay? Thank you. What about the word that you see? I feel irritated every time I hear this word. You people like to go across the border to the town name? Across the border? In Thailand, go shopping in? Up Okay. Okay. No, Up Jai. Up Jai. Okay. Jai. A lot of uh, Malaysian people, even my friends say Hat Yai. The P sound, how does it come about? I would not know. It's not Hat. It's Hat. Hat. Say please. Hat Yai. Hat Yai. Okay? And the town which was hit by tsunami? Phuket. 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 Chop along the Long one. So which one? Uh, B. Who get? Who get? Right? Hard Don't be afraid and say it as loud as you can. Hard Don't be afraid and say it as loud as you can. Hard So from now on, you never say hard. Hard who get say please? Who get and what about the seaside resort in Thailand? Hat Taya. Which one? Hat Taya. Hat Taya. B. Hat Taya. B. What about the North? Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai. What about yourself? You learn to be aware that the word Bangkok. In fact, to the Thai people, they don't say Bangkok. They say Krung Thep. Krung Thep. Which one? Krung Thep. A, B, or C? Krung Thep. Krung Thep. Krung Thep. C. Thep. Long one. Krung Thep. Okay? And hello is what? Sambadi, say please. Sambadi, which one? Number C, C. Sambadi. Yeah. So try again, please, from number one, and then we should stop. Tom Yam, say please. Tom Yam. Phuket. Hat Yai. Pattaya. Chiang Mai. And before we leave, we also say goodbye in Thai, which is Sawatdi also. So for male, can you please say Sawatdi to me in Thai? Say goodbye. Sawatdi Krap. Kun Sam. Great. Thank you. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ
สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะค่ะค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะคุณสุนทรสมศักดิ์อ่าเก๋สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะคุณสมศักดิ์ค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะคุณสมศักดิ์คุณยูคุณเก๋สวัสดีค่ะคุณสมศักดิ์เก๋สวัสดีค่ะคุณสามสุขนะ that's it นะ so สวัสดีค่ะ and you want to know thank you whatever it is sign up for the class okay so I think yes ค่ะ C C C C. Pattaya, Pattaya B. Ah, Pattaya. Okay. So you are familiar with the symbols and all this. But as far as the symbols, I don't care much. After a while, you take in your program yourself. Whatever it is, as long as when you say it, you say it the way the Thai people say, right? Right? Then when you say yes, you say what? Ka. ค่ะครับครับเด็ดเย้เอ่อ it could be the yes or no ค่ะครับค่ะค่ะค่ะโอเค so the word สนุก what is it สนุกสนุก so like you must say เรียนภาษาไทยสนุกเรียน means to learn ภาษาไทย what is it language เย้ so learn Thai language สนุกสนุก Just like that, เรียนภาษาไทยสนุก Just like that. Yeah. So the grammar wise, it's very simple. The problem that you may have is only the tones and or the length of the vowels. Because I, what about in Chinese? You have the length of the vowels, right? Yeah. So if you mispronounce the vowel sound, meaning change. So you just be aware of something which can crop up as problems. If not, just simply go, and that's it. Okay? I think this is all I would like to tell you. I do hope I managed to somehow convince you people. Right? สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ